Hey, so let's animate this in Blender. Uh, our main focus in this video is going to be this bloom effect and this procedural blinking. I just added a single frame and then I used some noise modifiers and stuff uh, to you know animate this and make it look like it, uh, he is watching something on TV instead of just a static glow animation. Let's get into it. While this time lapse is ru running, let's talk about why am I using Blender. So Blender is a uh, very versatile tool. It does have all of the compositing features and it, is, it essentially have all of the tools that you'll need in a 2D uh, pipeline uh, at, at least as a freelancer working alone. Independent, I should call it independent. The good thing about Blender, aside from it being very versatile, is that uh, it does it have uh, vector lines, which makes it very easy to do cleanups. You do not have to worry about int intersecting lines. There's a tool called Cutter, which uh, if if the two lines are intersecting, you don't have to erase them manually. You can just draw a single line on those on those lines, and Blender will recognize the intersecting point and it will cut cut out the extra lines on it so that's very helpful in drawing characters and cleaning up stuff so i wanted to animate it very like more than this that you've just seen but when i started drawing it i just drew everything on a single layer and did not bother to bo bother i did not bother, bother to move it on a different layer so i just i thought yeah i have to finish it earlier anyway so yeah i just skipped all the complex animation part and now I'm drawing probe and just watch me struggle with uh, struggle <laughs> yeah just watch me struggle trying to draw this blood bag thing yeah yeah so yeah let's just skip this so uh, let's talk about filling the colors uh, so what I did for for this uh, block out was I, I just um, made sure to clean uh, to close all the gaps at least for the outer line because blender does have a, a leak size thing but it does not work so yeah at least I'm using 3.1 I use I think 3.0 for this it did not work in, on that and it said still does not work so I just I just gave up and I never use that now so I made sure to cl close all the gaps on the outer line and then I selected fill tool and not inside the drawing I select clicked on outside while holding control um, with the color I, I want to fill in so it just filled out everything now I can use that color to, yeah you should uh, fill this in a different layer so so you can use that color as, as a mask um, yeah so that's it for that now we're going to the next part which is coloring the characters and yeah, while you're watching this, let me know if you have any confusions, like in, in any steps that I'm doing that you did not understand, and I can address that in a different video. Yeah, and I'm looking for some good, good video ideas. And yeah, your help will be very helpful. And now I'm just blocking out colors in the background, and I'm I'm keeping in mind not to um, make uh, select the values that are clashing with the character, so that you cannot diverge our focus from the main character and character being in the center of the screen also helps so yeah okay so this is an interesting part that you're seeing this glow on the top of this frame um, you cannot just draw it with an airbrush blend does have an airbrush in it but it does not work on a bigger sizes so you have to draw a smaller stroke and then you can just resize it as much as you want so you have to keep in mind so I just draw a smaller stroke with a, a simple neutral color and I adjust it then you can use the tint tool to adjust the color to, to match with your scene and uh, yeah yeah so that's basically the setup and now we're going into animation so I have rotated the canvas, yeah, canvas. So I, I actually don't remember the shortcut for that. So I can just draw easily and keep everything consistent, which I did not do a good job of, but it works, man. It's, it's not going to zoom very close on it, so yeah, we, I don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah. So I'm animating this being I blink thing and now then I'll just loop it and make it look like he's blinking several times while just animating it once yeah that's not the interesting part let's say that yeah now I'm coloring it now let's move to the interesting part yeah so now I'm just drawing a hand 
I'll do the lighting thing after that. We can skip this. It does not have. It is just a two-frame animation. Okay, now it's time to animate the camera. I think it is. Yeah, now I'm just adjusting a lot of things, and the basic thing is done. I'm just refining it now. And yeah, now, yeah, this is the step that I'm going to animate it. So for the layer setup, I have created a new layer. It's just called uh, light. Yeah, I think the uh, light outline is on the same layer as the fill, so it does not matter. So I just have created a new light layer, and I'm just drawing the outline of the light parts that are going to be in the light. So then, then I'll just fill them. Yeah, it looks very easy in in time lapse, but I remember when I did it like three months ago. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so I had to like really focus on that. Looking at some shadows and yeah, filling it in. No, yeah, that looks nice, right? So after we're done with that, we can just change the blending mode of, of this lighting layer to add or or screen. I don't think Blender have screen mode, but and you can adjust color of your light layer within just layer so You don't have to tint it every time. There is a uh, option called layer adjustment, and you can adjust the lighting uh, value of your colors in uh, from there. And you can adjust the hue, adjust the saturation, everything. You know, so you don't have to. Yeah, now we're adding a blinking animation. I'm just I just added a offset modifier and a thickness modifier to uh, increase the size of it. And now I'm just animating a constant keyframe going up and down. Then I'll just use a cycle modifier in the, in the graph editor to just loop the, that. And then if we're just one frame, if we're just all the next frame, then I'll looping due to the modifier. So that's an easy part. I can go into detail for that sometimes, but yeah, that, that's just a the, just yeah, that's just a brief brief description. If we want to finish this, I think it's already like 11 minute video. And that's that part. I think we're done now. Yeah, so that's the animation. So let's re replay the animation one more time, and and we're good. So if you have any questions or anything that you want to ask, or you have any suggestions, or you just want to roast me, or you, you just want to praise me, you can just do that in my comment section. And if you like it, please share it with your friends and just and just you know spam it in their inbox. I really, I really need your support like freelancing and good and all but doing what you like and drawing what you want is it's just something else so uh yeah that's it subscribe for more videos like this and please do leave your suggestions in the comments because that will give me new ideas for the for for the for the new videos